The second typhoon of the season, Mawar, intensified into a severe typhoon Thursday morning after churning through Guam. The storm is still far from Taiwan, but forecasters say they are likely tracking the storm to predict its potential impact. The strongest impact from the storm will likely be felt next Monday to Wednesday. Typhoon Mawar is on the prowl, and even its periphery is intense, according to the Central Weather Bureau's director. The path of the storm will become clearer next week. It could veer toward Luzon Island, or it could veer into the open sea when it's a little closer or a little farther. There's a fairly large degree of divergence in the paths it could take. So whether it turns north next Monday or Tuesday will be most critical to our forecast. As of 2 p.m. on Thursday, the storm was located at 14.5 degrees north latitude and 142.8 degrees east longitude, moving west at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour. When it reaches the east coast of Luzon Island in the seas southeast of Taiwan, it may start to turn north. From next Monday to Wednesday, the impact on Taiwan is likely to be the most severe. As it moves toward the southeast side of Taiwan, it could start to turn north. As it approaches, in the period from next Monday to next Wednesday, the typhoon's peripheral effects will be felt mainly along the north coast, including Jilong, the east coast, the Huntram Peninsula, and the greater Taipei area. Most of this weekend won't be affected by the typhoon, forecasters say. But starting Sunday afternoon, the approach of the storm's periphery will drive in northeasterly winds, bringing rain to windward parts of Taiwan. The CWB says it may issue a sea warning next week. After it enters the Outer East Sea and moves northeast, we may issue a sea warning. For now, it appears that a typhoon warning won't be a concern until after next Monday. The CWB says it will continue tracking the storm and that it's still unclear where and how Mawar will make its northward turn.